Hi everyone, welcome to another webisode of The Good Doctor on EasyLiving.com. Today I'm here at the Hamera Bacha Medical Center and with me is Dr. Hamera. Welcome to the show. Thank you. So Dr. Hamera, today we're going to be talking about a word that I was just introduced to and that's gout. What is it? Gout is actually really common. Lots of people get it. It affects usually men and it's a very painful condition where your joint can suddenly blow up, get really hot, painful and swollen. Sometimes people think they've injured it, but they didn't do anything the previous day to injure it. And it's caused by a high uric acid in the blood. So the uric acid can, under certain conditions, go to the joint, crystallize and set up this huge inflammatory response where people can't walk. They're like, they just wake up in the morning and they can't walk. Frozen. Frozen with the foot is like blown up like a football. It's red, it's hot, it's extremely painful. Does it last for hours or are we talking this is like a permanent situation? No, it's, it's, a, it's a short term thing. It can be treated. Okay. It needs heavy duty anti-inflammatory drugs. It sometimes needs cortisone and steroids to get the inflammation down. Right. But the main emphasis should be on prevention. Right. To prevent further attacks. Well, let's talk about it. How do we prevent getting gout? Because the basic problem is a high uric acid, we need to focus on lowering the uric acid. So let's talk about uric acid. What is uric acid? Sure. Uric acid, all of us have uric acid. We all have uric acid in our blood and there is a certain normal level, but some people have a high uric acid. And there's several factors which contribute to this. There's genetic factors that your father or grandfather always had a high uric acid mm -hmm. and so did you. Or there's also food related uh, problems where you're eating a lot of red meat, shellfish, organ meats like brain, liver, kidneys, etc. Or if you're drinking a lot of alcohol, ex especially grain alcohol, which mm. comes from grains, these contribute to having a high so uric beer acid. So uh, beer would is, be one of is those. the worst offender, yeah. And also there's not a very well understood thing which a lot of people don't know, is fructose. If you have a high fructose in your diet, mm. which is a kind of sugar and it's in fruits, so people think they're being really healthy by consuming two or three or four or five fruit juices per day. But when you're consuming a lot of fruit juices, you have too much fructose and that also contributes to a high uric acid. What else can be a cause for, yes. for gout? The other thing is, you know, this, the food industry now with a lot of processed foods and they're sweetening foods naturally with corn syrup. Now corn syrup is a big problem because it's not only contributing to obesity, but it's also contributing to rising uric acid levels because it's high in fructose. So these natural sweeteners with corn syrup should be avoided. So please read the labels on your food. Don't have anything which is sweetened with corn syrup. Um, and this, we're, we're talking about a whole host of food products, right? Yes, a like, lot of foods. Like what? If, like for instance, if you bought store-bought muffins, they sometimes put corn syrup to, uh, to sweeten them. Right. What about fruit juices? Yeah, a lot of times they sweeten, there's like no sugar added. So be careful of no sugar added because they may have added corn syrup, right. which is natural, in, but it has got a very high fructose content and they think it's contributing to a lot of things besides gout, even obesity. So we have to be careful about that. So if someone has gout, um, what do they need to do? Well, first they need to go to the doctor, get mm -hmm. it diagnosed and get a uric acid level check. They will be put on anti-inflammatory medications mm -hmm. such as um, you know, painkillers, etc. And once the acute attack subsides, then the doctor will discuss with them whether they need to take medication to lower the uric acid or may it be sufficient to do a diet program where they actually do a lifestyle modification diet exercise to lower the uric acid. So just like having high cholesterol, for instance, sometimes you can do it with just a diet exercise, but sometimes you need help of medication. Sure. So that would be the... So it's a dietary, dietary. Uh, issue that can be resolved by modifying what yes. your, your intake is. So what are some of the food groups that are natural for reducing the uric, uric acid? acid? Well, there's some recent studies which have been really positive for cherries. Eating 10 red cherries per day can lower your uric acid. Or if you can find concentrated cherry juice, it can lower your uric acid. Some people can just take uh, cherries in the form of capsules, which is found in health food stores mm -hmm. because you can't always find cherries in season. So that's one. And the second one is low-fat dairy products mm. can also lower your uric acid. So if you had two glasses of low-fat milk, it can also help you lower your uric acid level. Uh, this was insightful information. Thank you very much. Yeah, I certainly you. learned a lot. If you've got any thoughts, questions, or comments about this topic, please leave them in the comments section down below. 
Thanks for watching The Good Doctor on easyliving.com where you can find anything and everything lifestyle.